From the beginning of time, man has felt the need to fly. And for over two centuries, Jeff Hastings has been doing it on skis. Ski jumping, the original extreme sport, predates any other organized winter competition, and it's been an Olympic event since the very first games in Chamonix in 1924. Paul Hastings built the family homestead on a side hill in Norwich, Vermont, where three inches of wet snow was base enough for his three boys to break out their skis. And any mound was crowned with a kicker. As a former four-event skier, Paul knew there were better facilities and equipment. Programs like Ford Sayer and Hanover High School, Jeff, Brad, and Chris excelled quickly. And Jeff, the oldest, was riding the 15-meter hill by the time he was in third grade. That short burst defying gravity was all it took. He was hooked for life. Recruited to Williams College by coach Bud Fisher, Jeff made the national team, and by 1981, he was on the World Cup circuit. In December 1983 at Lake Placid, he tied for third on the normal hill, and then came back the next day to take first on the large hill. On that momentum, he was headed to the Olympics. Pressure is off Jeff right now. He didn't have a great first jump. It's going to be difficult though because it's toward the end of the round and this has been a long competition, one of the longest I've ever seen. Takeoff looked good. Nice smooth jump down there. He's going to be proud of that one. Well, the top 15 will get World Cup points here at the Olympic Games. And since Jeff is committed to the World Cup Series for this year, I'm sure he'll take that. But he won't get him out. It was a good jump. His fourth place finish in Sarajevo, a mere 1.7 points from bronze, has stood as the best American finish since Anders Hagen at the inaugural games 60 years earlier. He finished the 84 World Cup season fourth overall. Jumpers are a tight family. They not only compete against the same force of gravity, they share the same passion for flying. When Jeff retired from competition, he wasn't ready to leave that family. He started coaching. Ski jumping, as Jeff explains, is getting your body to do something that your mind says is suicide. He knows firsthand from inching out on the start bar the mind games that haunt a competitor's confidence. The movie that runs through your head before you stand and launch straight down the in run, pushing 60 miles an hour to leap the length of a football field or even more. For the 88 games in Calgary, Jeff led the U.S. team as coach for Nordic Combined. His brother Chris was on that jumping team. Jeff's experience and knowledge have also made him a sought-after commentator, and he's been the jumping TV analyst for eight Olympics, every Winter Games since 1988. Ski jumping became Jeff's ticket to travel the world, and at a summer reunion of coaches and competitors that he hosted at his home in Hanover, New Hampshire, a grassroots plan to help future jumpers evolve. Through USA Ski Jumping, now USA Nordic Combined, the next generation of jumpers from hills big and small have a host of innovative opportunities to be inspired and connected in the sport. From live streaming ski jumping events to the virtual nationals, a video competition Jeff started where jumpers compete before a panel of judges. Jeff also knows the value of story and there's no better tellers than ski jumpers, past, present, and future. To share their experiences, Jeff created the Story Project, which raised over $190,000 in 2016. Because skis, bindings, boots, and suits are expensive and hard to come by in the U.S., Jeff organized an equipment pool where every year club skiers can take advantage of ordering from Europe at bulk prices. His efforts have made and saved thousands, but more important, his work has encouraged eager jumpers from coast to coast. Jeff Hastings, from competitor and coach, to commentator and organizer has been a game changer for ski jumping. For his lifelong devotion, we honor his accomplishments and add his name to the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.